I was uh, I was actually kind of surprised. It's a psyop. I'm I'm seeing this stuff, this meme go around social media that says "fuck the vote," kind of like "rock the vote," but "fuck the vote." And look, if you think that your vote does not matter and the system is rigged and blah de blah de blah, yeah, there's there's fraudulent activity that goes on within our borders, coast to coast. And voting, okay? But you're only going to find that in staunch Republican areas or staunch Democrat areas. You're not going to find that in most of middle America or places where people have a pretty good hold on their local, you know, elementary school voting booth, little system they've got worked out or whatever. So I think it's really important for people, especially our age and younger in their 20s, to understand that, yes, your vote does count. There's nothing that they can say or do. Or Look, look let, me, let me put it like this. If your vote didn't count and there's no point in doing it, then why in the hell is Hillary Clinton sweating beads over Bernie Sanders' sudden jump in the polls on her? Because no matter how corrupt they are, they cannot completely 100% rig the vote. She might have CNN bought off and and promoting her and and promoting falsities about her numbers and, and things like that. Yeah, we've got plenty of that going on. But your vote does matter. You must get out on voting day. If you don't do anything else that week, please go vote. Please, you know, just please and, and, and go vote. And everyone is voting. Don't vote. Your vote doesn't count. Don't listen to James. What's that, Chris? You're, you're cutting out because whatever you're saying is pointless. I don't know, James. I think uh, at a local and state level, maybe your vote counts, depending on the population. You know, I think wherever the more. Why did happen. Bush have and, uh, to sue Gore in 2000? Because he won the election, and because the Bush family could not rig it, they had to go and sue and sue and sue until the whole thing was so wrapped up in litigation that they just went, okay, George Bush won, you know, whatever. So, yes, your vote does matter. Yeah, at a state and local level, but at a federal level, I don't know. I mean, I think. What do you mean like, you don't know? You can all, like, you can only vote for whoever they want you to vote for. You know, select them, we elect them. That's true, and we need to overhaul the so, like, voting does our vote process. Really like anything? Bernie Sanders says, that's something I really agree with. With what he says, you know, the whole thing needs to be redesigned. Yes. Yeah, but when they say something. They do something completely different. So why could you take Bernie Sanders' word on that? Because he has he's come out. He's, he he's done the. the I'll tell you why. <clears throat> Listen, I don't want to get into a Bernie Sanders argument. I'm going to leave it at this. Because he has come out and done what no other politician, no matter how junior or senior, has the nutsack to do, which is to come out against the Rothschild banking cartel, to come out against. TPP to come out against Monsanto and GMO products. Who else do you see doing that? Ron Paul. N- bullshit. He did then that. He's got, he, then he's he got did, his son, Rand Paul, who is a and cocksucker. You know what, Ron Paul Just stop. also Just stop. called out the Federal Reserve. And Bernie Ooh, never has said yeah, anything it, it, about so that. So if half of them would say, oh, it needs to be audited, and I've heard it all before, and no one will. So uh, who cares? Okay, th- that's not the most pressing issue right now gripping our nation, okay? And by the way, I'd like to add this one little comment. If you live in your mother's fucking basement, you're not allowed to sit there and say shit about socialists because you are a socialist when you're on your mommy's teat. So shut the fuck up. We're definitely practicing socialism as we speak. There's nothing capitalistic about our system. I'm not talking about our system. I'm talking about males in their 20s, 30s, and 40s who want to sit and fucking bitch about it who all live in their mother's basement. Get over it. You want to be a hotshot capitalist? You go get a fucking job. 
Yeah, there I said it. So who wants to bash Bernie Sanders now? Because I'm sick of this shit. Bunch of lazy well, cocksuckers. Yeah, that's all you all. Uh, that's all you people are who bash on Bernie. You're lazy cocksuckers who have to go to your mommy to pay your phone bill. Okay? Get the fuck over yourselves. You you know what? Watch a movie. It's for free on YouTube. It's called Barbarians at the Gate. You want to see what crony capitalism does? That's it. It's the true story of R.J.R. Reynolds uh, Nabisco and why they failed. Because their CEO was too goddamn greedy. So go ahead. Be a capitalist. See where that gets you. You're going to be sitting in your mother's basement exactly where you are now while the CEOs of all the corporations are lapping up everything that you should be getting. So just shut the fuck up with it. And get your ass out and vote. Uh, Otherwise, you know what? If you're not going to vote, if you think your vote doesn't count, then shut the fuck up anyway. How about that? You're a liberal, huh, Jane? Of course. Could you be a liberal? Do you think 9-11 was an inside job? Absolutely. How could you be a liberal then? Um, Let's see. Last time I checked, which was yesterday, every liberal in Los Angeles believes 9-11 was an inside job. What point are you trying to make? I don't meet a lot of liberals that think 9-11 is an inside job. They call me a conspiracy theorist. I think that's what you are. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry that people have been calling you that because I don't think you are that or anyone else who questions it is. I think we've had certainly enough academics and people who have come out of the woodwork and explained exactly how it happened. I've got the pictures of the fucking crew planting the bombs inside the motherfucker. So how much more plain do we need to make this discussion? Which actually, on a side note, I'd like to say that I'm a little surprised that it took this many years for those pictures to be leaked in a few obscure alternative news uh, outlets because I've known about those fucking pictures for five years at least that I can recall. And I've tried to leak them to people, but it was that sort of thing like, ugh, that's too much, don't hand me that, you know, like they couldn't take it or something. But yeah, no, it was a controlled demolition, duh. And all of us so-called liberals out here in California, yes, we know that. We're, we're not stupid people. I know that you all think that we all sit around under palm trees and eat coconuts and, like, get high all day and, you know, are fucking stupid. But no, we're some of the most educated people there are, and there's a shitload of Ivy League schools here. Can you say the same thing where you live? Total silence. It's what I thought. I don't know what to say to you, James. You live in California. Yeah, that's real funny, real cute. There's nothing communist about California. Why don't you come out here and see for your... You know, there's like... Wyoming. population, 30 million people. And, uh... I I don't know if it's complete... uh, It's a good population you need to control. It's like... You know, you want that bait on your side. Like, it's such a big economy as well. It's incredible. Yes, California is a huge so. state. And I, I have, I'm speechless as to what makes you think that it's communist. Matter of fact, we have one of There's the best true republic systems of government here. It's a little thing called the proposition system. So if you, citizen A decide that you don't like something Citizen B is doing, you can go and form a proposition, get your signatures, and then it comes up for a vote. And then it gets passed into law. Why do you think weed is legal? It started with a proposition. Why is gay marriage legal? It started with a proposition. That one made it all the way to the Supreme Court. So we actually have a very, 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 very democratic, for the people system of government here Thank you. Please stop insulting it. If you want to take jabs at something, take jabs at some fucking shithole like Texas or whatever where you do not have a choice, and you never will. Oh, but that's Republican. We can't attack that, can we? No, you'd rather sit there and attack California and call us communists just because we believe that people (laughs) should have rights? Fuck you. 
You need to just get off the fucking line, Michael. Fuck off. Hey, I'm against the Democratic and Republican Party, so I, I can bash on Texas, too. Well, great, fine. Bash on it or, or whatever, but keep your fucking mouth off California because we haven't done shit to you. What are are you two so fucking petrified that you don't know what to say? I don't know what to say, man. This is like every argument I have with a liberal. You get very emotional. Because you are falsely accusing liberals of being and doing things that we are not. You make it sound as though we're all sitting out here smoking crack and fucking in some kind of orgy on the beach. Well, Meanwhile, converting the communist like system. That. that is the picture you're painting. Oh, we want to put a communist in. First of all, show me one piece of evidence that says Bernie Sanders is a communist. Demonstrate that right fucking now. Can you send a link, anything that is verifiable, that's journalistic, that's been vetted, that shows that that man is a fucking communist? Show it to me right now. I think he's a socialist. He's uh, by I his think that's what our country is, is a socialist. Okay, great. Thing. Now we're getting somewhere. So now, what is your problem with socialism? Um... You gotta get people to share, and people don't want to share in this world. Everyone's too greedy, so we're just gonna be tax victims anyway. Well, then that's both the reasons why you live at home still, isn't it, Michael? Because everybody's so greedy, they've taken any opportunity for you to get the fuck out of Mama's house. And living with your mother is a socialist arrangement. Past the year of eighteen. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't. I mean, I I hold two jobs, man. That's fine. Some people hold three jobs and still have to eat off food stamps because their capitalist bosses don't want to pay them anything over minimum wage. Do you think that that's okay? That's right? Hey, who sets the minimum wage? Well, us crazy liberals would really like to set the minimum wage at 15 an hour, and we did that here in California. And guess what it did? It ran Walmart and the Walton family the fuck out the state. Adios. Don't let the How, doors on the ass out. Here. Walmart would be able to afford the wages, and small businesses wouldn't yes, be can. able to. Yes, and they've been going out of business. How many billions of dollars the Walton family has? Are you out of your mind? So they they should make hundreds of millions a year, but they should not pay their employees fifteen an hour. Hmm. Is that it? I. Th- no, they should, but th- how come a small a small business could afford that? Well, that's you know all. What I'm saying, complex and it'd be ran out of business. So, yes, so they can't just... afford it because there would be. Gu- oh my God, you're turning this into a typical Republican. Fuck the Democrats. No, that's not how it works. This is not all about Walmart. This is not all about the mom and pop shop down the street. Which, by the way, the mom and pop shops that Angelinos here in this city only tend to like. That's why the big corporate chains aren't really in the basin, because we've run them all out, and Walmart was just the latest one to go, and like I said, don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. Somehow, dude, they're finding a way to pay their employees 15 an hour. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're not hurting. Damn, not here. Well, then... It's perhaps- actually gotten really bad here. Everyone's losing jobs because uh, oil went to shit and so did coal. So, like, so many people are moving out of this thing. It's unbelievable. Yes, they're having the same problem right now in uh, the U.K. Um, because they've shut down all but, what, four coal factories. So now all the coal workers are out of jobs. Uh, back over here in the States, um, yeah, I've I've been to Minnesota. I've seen it with my own two eyes. You want to talk about abysmal, there, there is nothing – in Minnesota for you unless you can hope to get a job in the city or Minneapolis or go out to the sticks and get a job at the Schwann's, which is a, a, like a dairy 
uh, manufacturer, um, corporate headquarters. That's it. There's nothing, and or unless you want to be a farmer and grow Monsanto GMO corn, those are your three job options. There, it's abysmal. And don't you see how they you know, these corporations use the government to achieve that uh, monopoly? Like, how are we expect to use government to fix it when they own the government? Okay, well, here's an example. Let's say Bernie Sanders got elected and did what he did, it says he's going to do, and he breaks up Monsanto and all this bullshit, and suddenly all of those rural farmers in Minnesota are no longer having to pay dividends to Monsanto and are no longer beholden to them and have to you know, give them their cut like it's the fucking mafia. And guess what? They're going to have more money, and they're going to be serving – the local population there, healthier food. Do you realize that's one of the biggest cancer clusters right now in the U.S. that no one is hearing about? Is Minnesota. Why? Because the whole state is covered in GMO Monsanto corn and ethanol plants. So it is no small wonder why they're all coming down with cancer, their hair is all breaking off at ear length, the women included. It, it's horrifying. And yes, I agree with you. I think that it sucks that we are given such a limited choice of candidates, but that is the current system. So I am trying to put it to you that right now it would appear, based on who the choices are, that Bernie is looking like the best one. If you want to see all these things that you hate broken up. Now, I don't want to politicize this show and go off on this tangent, but since it came up, you know, there's how I feel about it, and now I'm done. So, uh, you know, earlier today, uh, Jeff, our, our buddy Jeff of the show, was harassing our friend and colleague Corey of the show about all this stuff and calling Bernie a, a communist and everything. She completely shut him down with facts, and she made a very good point, which I would like to repeat. Do you call yourself a journalist, yes or no? If you answer yes to that question, then your ass needs to learn how to motherfucking vet a story or a piece of information or evidence or a, a personality or another show or whatever. Like, for example, Alex Jones, real or fake. There's a hard one. Fake, fake, fake. So if you want to call yourself that, you need to learn the process of vetting. They taught us this in high school. So unless you're a high school dropout, you possess these skills. <laughs> it's that I simple. Still think, you know, I, th I do think Bernie Sanders will get elected, but I just don't see him keeping his word. And, I, you know, that's where we'll disagree. Why do you not see keeping his word? Because he's like, because no politician does. When has any politician ever kept their word? Well, let's see, in his entire, what is it, 30 years in the Senate or whatever, he has kept his word on every single last thing he has said. And meanwhile, Hillary and all the rest of them, the, the Republican candidates, all they do is lie. So if you're judging this man off of will he keep his word or not, it would appear for the last 30 years he has. So again, you must vet these people. What does the evidence say? What is the trap? Forget what Fox News pundits tell you. Forget what CNN and Anderson Gay Ass Cooper tell you and all the rest of them. Don't listen to them. Their opinions are their opinions. Form your own opinions. Do your own research. Form your own opinions. And for God's sake, get off your ass and go vote. Uh, but are you too lazy for all of that? Well, it's just you know, I, I, uh, I just don't think our vote could change anything. Like, I don't think a politi We should expect well, a politician. Then we are screwed. Then we like, are screwed. Voting is just a small your, your aspect of what you can do fantasies for Fantasies are going to come true, then, Michael. Because if you feel that way and you refuse to vote, then we are fucked royally. You have to create freedom. You can't vote for it. I'm telling you that. Okay, so then, what would you suggest we do? I say we should renounce our citizenship. You know, we should lawfully rebel in a peaceful way. How, how old are you? I'm 21. Okay, well, that makes sense. Anyway, continue. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not like Jeff. I think you're just like comparing me with him. <laughs> anyway. Um, you, you genius 21-year-old. Yes, you go renounce your citizenship, and uh, then where are you going to go? Then you just got to, you know, be a subcontractor, if you will. Start your own business. Do something you like. You know, work with work with someone. Uh, yeah, that's that's a great idea. And how are you going to do any of those things after you renounce your citizenship? Hmm. How are you going to sell it? It's out possible. Form? It's definitely oh, it possible. Can be done. Dude, whoever's telling you that is giving you bad information. Yeah, you you go apply no, for a corporation after you've told the government I've renounced my citizenship. And see what happens next. It's not easy, but it can be done. Well, yes, if you have citizenship in some other country and you want to open an American corporation, yes, you're right. It can be done. And oh, hey, I'm on with you guys. As well. Okay, so That's then, Michael, thing. since you seem to have it all figured out, what country are you going to move to and get citizenship in? Hey, my own. Why would I get – what up? Hey, I, I didn't know if I was with you guys. Yeah, you're with us. What up, Mark? Okay. Yeah, well, I'm I'm talking okay. to you guys, and you guys are talking back, and I, I didn't know I was uh, actually talking to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, I didn't good. know you were in the call. Sorry. Also. Yeah, I just I just got on. Just got on just a minute ago. Didn't mean to interrupt either. Oh you're no, cool. no problem. So no, no, Michael, tell us where where is it you're moving to? What what country? Why would I move to a different country? Why can't Cause you I gotta just... have motherfucking citizenship, you dumb shit. Where are you moving to? No, you don't. No, whoa, you whoa, don't. Whoa, I can whoa. claim nationality in mm-hmm. Wyoming and be a Wyoming national. All right. I'm, and really, really. I'm, I'm really? Okay. Uh, no, All actually, right. you can pick up a motherfucking history book. Hey, <laughs> easy, uh, easy on the uh, the dropping the f word all the time, every word. Um, actually, you're wrong. You don't have to move out of the country once you renounce your citizenship. That's actually wrong. Uh, I know plenty of people that yeah, have a citizenship. And they live in the country. They don't have ask to. Ask Tina leave. Turner. Fucking Tina Turner, it's, dude. Get out of here with that shit. It's renouncing your citizenship to the to the federal government. Is what it yeah, is. Yeah. You need to see. Yeah, James. You, you, you need, need, to, need to learn a little bit more about this subject if you want to talk about it because. You're completely wrong. No, but I'm only 21. Now, what you're talking about is going and getting a P.O. box in Washington, D.C., and making yourself a citizen of the District of Columbia, which is completely different than anywhere else. In, it's different from living in New York. It's different from living in L.A. That is a whole other system. That is what you are actually referring to. So, Michael, then I take it you're going to go get take out a P.O. box and apply for an I.D., on a Washington D.C. address, is that right? Isn't that like becoming a federal citizen, which we already are? No, I'm just thinking like get a common law ID from your local DMV, and just you know that's your ID right there. That's not breaking the system. Then your ID that is breaking from the system. Really? How? Common law ID? Yeah, because common law. Do you know what common law is when you practice it in court? Which is you don't have to pay your federal taxes any longer, so it is it is breaking the system. Yeah, getting away from taxes—that's the tough part, right there. Is breaking away from the tax system. Okay, I know I know of a good example of someone who tried this and how horribly it ended. So you, oh. you do what you're going to say. Yeah. You renounce your little citizenship and all this because you're such Billy badass and all that. Okay. So you're tooling down the road and you're, you're, I'm guessing, like some jacked up pickup truck on a lift kit because you got a small dick, <laughs> and you get pulled over for speeding. Guess what? The cop is not going to give a shit about you and your little hippie ass common law ID. So you're going to get hauled off to the fucking slammer like a moron. Let so what them, did you do then? Well, you have all that you learn yeah. and practice it in court. Right. You can even sue them in the way. You right. It's no matter what the court right. your jurisdiction. Really, well, if it were that easy, why isn't everyone doing it? People do why do it. it? Huh? <laughs> People do do it. That's really name me, name me two names right now. Two names of people who do it. I know LB, people do it all the time. LB I have more. friends that do it. David, LB. what's his last name? David Sheet. Yeah, well, David something. Yeah, he does. David it. Byron, LB. Jer- uh, my buddy Jared Dalen. Jared. He did it. He's oh living yeah, right, He's living out in Tahoe. 
living it up. Now, this is something we have all looked into quite a bit, uh, James, and it, and it can be done. We do know what we're talking about. Um, it, it, and it is just renouncing your, you know, your uh, alliance to the federal, federal government, government. kind of like what we were we were founded as, as you, well, kind of nothing as a republic. You know, 50, 50 separate countries. You'd be a country if you're in California. You'd be a, a California national. And as the 14th as Michael Amendment said, came along, and it, can, it made a completely right. parallel Thank constitution. So you need to read the Red Amendment, and then you would, you, would, you would actually understand what we're talking about. Darling, but, you need to sit down and read Maritime Law because you've got no clue what you're talking about in regard to the Virginia Company. Okay. Every time Adam T. Law. Somebody's just spent too much time out there in uh, Los Angeles sucking up all the uh, methane. Really? Brains getting a little fried. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go suck some more methane. Y'all have your little Republican dick suck hour. Good night. <laughs> wow. James, did you actually have. Oh, I didn't get to to say anything about him driving a Prius, or <laughs> uh, I'm just going to be good. I'm going to be good. I'm sorry. I, uh, that's too bad that we lost James as soon as I come on. I wanted to talk to him a little bit. Yeah, well, apparently he uh, likes to throw temper tantrums, huh? I didn't get to hear all Does of he it. Do what that he was ta- talking with you, Michael? That's like He's show like... material, dude. People love that shit. Oh yeah, but. Hanging out Maybe. and acting like a, a child like that, that's kind of uh, ridiculous. I'm not uh, I'm not defending him in any way, but maybe he felt a little ganged up on. I, I mean, he was really throwing a big hissy fit before any of us started yeah, talking. Yeah, well, when I, got back, when I got back I got back on, yeah, that's all I heard was him yelling at Michael and shit. And I was sitting here trying right, to talk. Right. I was like, I just, Michael, I tell him to stop saying, swearing so much. Was like, he was like, why are you all silent? <laughs> Just burst without laughing again, and I uh that time of the month. I don't know. That was funny. Oh man! He told me, "Did you get the fuck off the line, Michael?" <laughs> oh, James, if you're still listening, I really would like to have a have a, a reasonable conversation with you, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, I guess. That's, uh... Yeah. I have no idea that I wanted to talk about socialism, though, because I know he's a, a Bernie supporter, and, and uh, I've been wanting to talk to him about that. I think that's what, what Michael was talking to. Where did you guys even get off, him, Michael? Talking to him before. I couldn't hear it. Everything was breaking up. I, I just kept hearing. Yeah, I did like, talk to him about Bernie. Walmart, mm-hmm. effing this, effing that, and then it would break up, and I'm like, I'm trying, trying to talk, and like I'm like, Michael, I guess you guys can't hear me. <laughs> <clears throat> Typical, typical, but no, I mean, like I said, I've seen him throw some hissy fits online and stuff, but whatever, you know, hey, the whole jacked up truck thing. I don't have a lift in my truck, you douchebag. Yeah, yeah, I there's no to... need of that. Apparently he's, he's allowed, he's he, I guess he's allowed, he's, he's allowed to shit all, stereotyping. yeah, he's allowed to shit all over everybody else, I guess, and once you uh, disagree with him on something, you're a motherfucking idiot and blah blah. Like, come on, come on, James. We all, everyone just I heard you. He said people are like me blowing me up, sending me messages. Me. Yeah, people are like blowing me up, sending me messages. Like, dude, what the hell did that uh, dude just do? That's that's your co-host, and he just actually did that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's messed up. Well, yeah, there's no need of that. Is, like I said, like I said, it is what it is. Fucking having a bad day, dude. You don't need to come on the radio show and start taking it out on fucking Michael and then fucking get all pissed off because I don't fucking agree with you. Like I said, maybe he felt ganged up on. I don't know. I'm over it. Well, shit, man. Three of us have a different opinion than him. (laughs) (laughs) And and actually, we happen to be happen to be actually really factual about what we're talking about with the 14th it, Amendment. And... Exactly. That's why I'm saying he he actually doesn't have a clue about that. That's why I'm saying he should probably look into it a little more before he actually uh, talks about it. Right. I hate to say it. I really kind of do, but that's your typical Bernie supporter. Yeah, dude. That's... 
I get, I get no, that a lot. You know, start throwing, start throwing facts lot. at them. Yo, oh, yeah. Start throwing facts at them, and they just, you know, wig out. Derp, 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 derp,